transforming a city staple into a new realm. I'm Lauren Thomas and a grand opening is what's brewing in the city of Greenville this week. New Realm Brewery tapped the keg, officially opening its West End location inside the old cigar warehouse. The restaurant and sports bar features two levels and an outdoor space. Greenville is featured in The Economist this week. Entrepreneurs from Encora Health, Supermoon, and Village Launch are highlighted in the article. America is in the midst of an extraordinary startup boom, how the country revived its go-getting spirit. The Design Review Board approved site plans for the Gateway Project at the location of the former Memorial Auditorium. The development will bring 12,000 square feet of restaurant and commercial space, apartments, and a parking structure. Greenville City Council gave initial approval to the fiscal year 2025 budget that adds more police officers to prevent crime and enhance response time. The officers will work in newly annexed areas of the city, as well as neighborhoods and parks. The 20th Annual Artist Fair presented by TD Bank featured over 140 artists, 60 entertainment acts, and 10 local food vendors. Artist Fair unveiled a new interactive public art sculpture entitled Tandem Lovers. Stop by South Main Street and take a ride on the beloved characters featured in pieces worldwide. Recreation staff help students at the Charlestown Center bump, set, and spike a project to make volleyball safer and more accessible to younger students using two nets and a softer ball. Unity Park crews planted flowers on the deck of the Prisma Health Welcome Center, worked on weed control, and mowed the more than 60 acres of open space. Making safety improvements and encouraging economic development along busy sections of Wade Hampton Boulevard. Proposed changes between Church Street by Harris Teeter and North Pleasantburg Drive include lane reduction, sidewalks, and redesigned intersections. A design charrette for the Green Line Spartanburg neighborhood was held this week with strong community participation. The rapidly developing neighborhood is undergoing a master plan to balance character, build infrastructure, and maintain affordable housing. We kicked off National Public Works Week with a truck parade at Greenville Elementary Schools. Students learned about our recycling trucks, street sweepers, dump trucks, and other vehicles that maintain our city. Fleet Services was awarded the number 12 position in the nation during the 50 Leading Fleets Honor Ceremony in Louisville, Kentucky. This is the eighth year Fleet placed in the top 20. Congratulations to Greenville Police Officer of the Year, Officer Elliot Long. Long was honored for his investigative works at the annual awards luncheon, where recognitions are given to officers for their dedication and outstanding service to the community. This is also National Police Week, so we want to say thank you to all the officers who help keep the Greenville community safe. I'm Lauren Thomas for the City of Greenville.